Hi guys, I'm back again. Um, and today I'm going to talk about parvicepalum types of pedalum And um, you can see in front of you, this is a parvicepalum that is in flower. But this one is a hybrid. Okay, so uh, this one, the name is this is a Puffypedalum Envy Green. Puffypedalum Envy Green is a cross between Puffypedalum malipons and uh, a Primulinum. Primulinum is not a parvi, but the flower is more on the parvi side. As you can see, um, one thing you'll know is that its uh, pouch is large like pop eye this one is um multifloral because it's got more than one flower uh there is a smaller here but this one is still in bud as you can see this one they don't uh bloom the same time so when this uh main flower falls the other one will take over so you're gonna have two successive flowers and as you can see the flower stem is really long it looks like it is um 15 inches and probably more and you can see it is it is hairy it's very very hairy very hairy very long brown in color and the uh, flower is uh, greenish yellow got a lot of spots on it and very hairy as well Um, one thing you'll notice too is that the leaves are mottled, mottled leaves. It's got all this nice pattern to it. And the texture feels like sandpaper, guys. It is thick, it's leathery, and uh, feels like sandpaper. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, one parent of this. Uh, it is this one, guys. That's uh, the other half parent of this plant, of this hybrid. This is called a Puffypedalum malipons. So that's the name there. That's malipons. And um, it's got a... Um, a photo of the flower that's gonna give you an idea of what the flower may look like it is actually similar to this one but you cannot uh, clearly see the color but it's um this is actually more green if in flower and um if you notice because this is a pure species and this one is not the mottling of the leaves is uh, more, uh, it's clearer. It's more well defined. It's really beautiful. And the underside of the leaves is, let's have a look. It is dark in color. It's like reddish or mahogany in color. And it's it's rough in texture, just like a sandpaper. Leathery. Um, that's when you'll know it's a parvicepalum. If you compare, this is actually a flowering size. This one here. If you compare the species and the hybrid, you can, um, you can see that it is more, this one here, the hybrid is bigger 
compared to the species that is flowering um, flowering size so I think I noticed that hybrids are more vigorous and generally bigger compared to their species parent and um, I will show you another um, Parbicephalum species okay so this one here this is called a Buffypedalum delinati so that's what the flower is gonna look like it also has a big pouch Parvis, Parvicephalum they uh, all have big pouch just like this one And this one, um, this is Delinati Alba. Alba, I think in Spanish it means white. So that's why um, it will give you a white color. And I've got a the pink form here. This is a Delinati pink. I just didn't have the. I just didn't have the photo, but it is similar it's only pink in color if you've noticed the leaves this one is darker compared to this one it's light the alba form is white in color compared to the pink one but the mottling of the leaves is beautiful really beautiful really beautiful and i also have the vini color or the darker color this one is a dark red color of the species as you can see that's a dark color there as you can see the edges of it it's got a light um sorry a reddish color at the edges and the middle is um cherry red compared to the white one even the leaves, you can also see at the edges too, it's got the cherry color at the side, the side of the leaves. The white form, the pink form, and the red form. Let's take a look at the, the underside. So this one, the red form, the underside of the leaf is red as well the white form is I would assume it will be white it is white and the pink form it is sort of in the middle it's white and red it's light with uh, some specks of red so uh, these are called the delinati that's the the three forms of the species and um if you start to cross these guys okay so this is a puffy pedilum malipons if you cross this with a delinati malipons cross delinati you're going to get a hybrid called Puffypedilum linley kopowitz that's the hybrid of these two species at the back so if you notice these are flowering size the parents are smaller they're small compared to the hybrid here and um they are more vigorous they they flower faster too so this is a i actually this flowered before but i wasn't here i went to philippines to have a vacation of oh god i completely missed that one uh but uh to give you an idea this is what the flower is gonna look like that's the lindley kopowitz much bigger and um guys once this uh 
once these plants flowers they don't flower on the same um same plant anymore so this is already spent once it flowers some orchids they flower on the same plant but this one doesn't what what the plant do they give off a new growth so at the back here you'll see when you turn it you'll see there is a smaller growth and that's going to be the next one that will grow and will give you a flower but even if the plant is not in flower uh, Oh, sorry, um, about to mention the underside is also um, dark as well. Uh, texture is uh, feels like a sandpaper and it's leathery, thick and leathery. So I uh, was about to say, um, even if they are not in flower, they are still beautiful. Just the leaves alone is a uh, wonderful to look at they're not just any ordinary plant you know you can see the mottling of the mottling of the leaves it's amazing it's so beautiful and another one here um another parvicepulum is called a Papipedilum micranthum. This one will create this really huge flower. I haven't flowered any yet, so I'll just give you an idea of what the flower will look like. I think this plant, this is called a micranthum again. Um, I think this, uh, among this, uh, all of these plants in here, or all the parvicepulum, this is the one that produces the biggest pouch so much bigger than this one here uh, it's just a shame i haven't flowered it yet but if i do i'm going to show it to you so this one of your petal of my crantham, if you cross this with a delinati this here it will give you uh the hybrid Papipedalum magic lantern. This is the magic lantern in here. So the size of the flower is from the micranthum side, while the color is the delinati. So it really depends what type of delinati they use. If they use the the dark one, it's gonna be darker. If they use the alba one, it's gonna be lighter. It really depends what what the color of the parents. But that's gonna I'll just give you an idea of what the flower may look like. And as you can see again, look at the leaves. They all have beautiful mottling leaves. You should really have this if you don't have this uh, par, um, puffy petalum, the parvi type. You should get them. They are e actually easy to grow just give them if they if you grow them inside the house uh a good ventilation is really important for our kids otherwise they uh, get root uh crown crown a rot and um usually they succumb to that infection it's very hard uh they get more chances of uh, recovering from root rot than crown rot uh, okay so i'm going to show you a different plan here this is called a barbicephalum sorry puffy petalum vietnamese uh the flower of this is very similar to delinati this one but i think it's got uh, a bigger they've got bigger petals but basically just the same okay so now i'm going to compare them to um a different type of puffy petalum this is a multifloral type. This one here in the middle. You can you can see right away the difference. The leaves are so different. All are puffy pedalums. This is a puffy pedalum here, but a different type. This is a multifloral type. I left the 
I left the name of outside in I left it in the greenhouse but I want to show you a, a sample of the flower so this is a flower sample as you can see the the pouch is nowhere as big as our parvi parvi sepalum type this is mr popeye pouch and this is this one here i'm going to give you a small small pouch but um some people like some the this type of uh um puffy pedalum these are generally this type of uh, puff puffy pedalum are warmer growers and they um, produce more flowers while our parvi can produce like two uh, flowers at a time this one here will produce many like more than seven so so some people prefer this one some this one but me personally i prefer the barbie type because of the beautiful leaves okay. so um that's all for now guys and uh thank you for watching my video and i hope you like it bye